Hey YouTube! We're the Bookbusters! The Bookbusters! Bookbusters! Today we are doing the social media book tag! I have the questions on my handy dandy phone. Like always. And this time, don't look at your handy dandy phone. Right. The first yeah, one me. is Twitter. Your favorite short book. One of my favorite short books would be Sudoku, Sudoku, Sadako. Sadako. Sadako, Sudoku, and The Thousand Paper Crates. Now, this is a very brief read, but this is actually a classroom copy. It's meant for a third grade classroom, but it is just an amazing book. It's so heartfelt, and it's really short, and it, it is sad, but it's amazing. My favorite I don't have with me, but it is We Were Liars mm -hmm. by E. Lockhart. I read it this summer. It actually took me a while to read it, just because I had a lot going on at the time that I read it. I read it on the airplane home, and then I had a bunch of stuff going on that <laughs> week. But it was really good, and it's only like 100 pages or something like that. <laughs> well, I think I win the Who Has the Shorter Book Contest with this time because you're looking Facebook, at Facebook. A book that everyone pressured you into reading. Okay. That could literally be any book on my shelf, except for maybe the ones I read before I got into YA, I guess. But I'm going to go with The Fault in Our Stars. It was definitely worth it. Actually, I was spoiled for The Fault in Our Stars. Me too. Someone told me he dies. Thing is... I saw the movie posters and I thought it was two dudes and I figured the main character was a dude. She's upside down and has short hair and that is confusing, but it was a great book. Mine is the Alice series, which I am currently reading. I'm not very happy about it. It's good! It is. The next one is Tumblr, a book you read before it was cool. Oh yeah. I actually have no Hipsters. idea how Tumblr works. Hipsters. I, I got a Tumblr account and I wanted it for like... 30 minutes and I still haven't figured out how it works. I don't have a Tumblr account. I'm Ours is <laughs> The Land, Land of Stories, Stories by Chris Colfer. We read this in like fifth grade. And we realized that it's not exactly popular, but we did read it before it got And there's like two more popular. books coming out. We thought that there was only two books and now there's two more books coming out. And we don't think we should buy them, but at the same time we want to see how it ends. Right. Yeah. And just... we were like the first people that read it. You know, amongst the first people. Next one is My Sa MySpace, a book that you read when you were younger that you probably don't like now. We have actually never had a MySpace because we were born in 2001 <laughs> and 2000. I don't even so. know how that works. That is The Candy Makers by Wendy Mass. I read this a while ago, and but I haven't read it recently, and I actually don't really like it. Mine would be the Lucy B. Parker series. This series I wasn't really in love with as a kid, so I, but I did, you know, like them, and I bought all of them, and I read all of them, but I doubt I would enjoy them today. The next one is Instagram, a book that has the most beautiful cover. Mine is The Weight of Water, which actually has this beautiful water-colored thing going on. I'm, I'm guessing it isn't real watercolor. But it's, it's just so gorgeous, and it's about water, and then it's watercolors. I should take an Instagram selfie right now. Mine is actually two books, and it is Isla and the Happy Ever After and Lola and the Boy Next Door. I and actually... she is leaving out Anne and the French Kiss. That's because I have never been to Paris, and these are my two favorite cities in the world. Um, I haven't actually read Isla yet, but and Isla and the Happy Ever After, I love this book in the the camera does not do to discover justice. I love New York City. I want to live there when I grow up with her. Yeah. So pretty. The next one is Lola and the Boy Next Door. And this is because this is the city that we live in and that I grew up in. And I love San Francisco so this much. This is my San Francisco dance. Yeah. All right. Which one's mine? This one's first. This one's mine. All right. What book is this? What question is this? What am I doing? YouTube. A book that you wish was made into a movie. Okay. I'm going to go first because I have two books again. Mine is Cinder by Marissa Meyer mm -hmm. and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And I know that this one is becoming a movie and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> and this one would be an amazing movie. Oh my god, I love this book. Okay. My book would be Popular by Maya Van 
please don't kill me if I say this wrong. Wagnon? Wagon. Wagnon? Wagnon? And now, I'm usually opposed to, like, one of my favorite books becoming a movie, because I'm just so scared they'll ruin it for me. This one, I think, would be awesome as a movie, because it's a real story. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? That's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool! <laughs> the last question is Goodreads, a book you recommend to everyone. A book I think everyone should read, even if they don't read the whole Atlas series, is Alice in Lace. My all-time favorite of the Alice series because it's really fast-moving and it's hilarious and you don't need to know her entire life story in order to love this book. Mine is the Harry Potter series. Insert a picture. And if you haven't read Harry Potter yet, get up on it! Even Chloe's read it! Read it or don't, I'm not going to pressure you. Do what Shut you want to do. Be your own person. Bye. Thanks for watching, Bookbusters. We will see you with our next videos. Watch our next video, which will be coming soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video with all your friends. If you enjoy it. Which, of course, you did. Because why wouldn't you enjoy it? There will be links to all of our other videos down below in the comments, seeing as we only have like three videos at this point. We're gonna go see me and Earl the Dying Girl. Our review will be up soon. Okay, bye! Woo! I don't, as in, Remember I don't do bloopers like at the end of this video. I will. Okay, I'll do bloopers even though I haven't been doing bloopers. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> we can put this in the bloopers. MySpace. Did I say the right word? Yes. Oh, I said is, the right name! The next one is... Oh my god, you can't see that whatsoever. Also, this is my only favorite. Also, we have to hurry. Okay, I was gonna say one more thing, and okay, then you... Go, 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 go! Oh, okay, grab the... Actually get it this time. Alright. We have all the books stacked on my ladder. What was I gonna say? You're pressuring me! You're pressuring me! Do we need the light? Yes. <laughs> I think I look great like this. And then edit that. Yeah. Okay. We will see you with our next videos. With our next video. Make You're sure pointing at the wrong area. So today, today we, we are doing, doing the social media. Say it together, Ayana. Today. Ayana, stop doing that Riley to my face. Oh! It tastes very good. The social, social media tag. tag. Let's do that again. Yeah. Wait, was this actually before it was closed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Wait. Da 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 Own an apartment. Anyway, so I we're love a giant mug collection. I know, and we're gonna live. We're gonna sleep in the same bedroom because it's New York City. And we don't have any money. How do we turn this off? You press this button. Which button? <laughs>